I was wrong. Occasionally, I am wrong. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. So, nine years ago, I remember making the decision to not put a soap dispenser in this sink, thinking it was another thing to maintain, clean around. After nine years of staring at this bottle, and it seems like with each passing year, my tolerance for clutter decreasing, I'm ready for this to go away. And I've ordered a soap dispenser. So we're gonna put this thing in. It was $20 on Amazon. Aged bronze. Match the faucet here. Make this soap bottle go away. So what we're dealing with here is a granite composite sink. The installation of this would be extremely easy if there was a hole in here for it already. I wanted to go on this side, um, but we have to put a hole in this thing. How are we gonna do that? So each one of these sinks has a little secret underneath. And oh, if we crawl under here, we can see there are knockouts ready to make additional holes for our soap dispenser or originally for our faucet. If you have a two single handle, three handle, you can see we've got two holes already put in there. We need to basically use this one here for our soap dispenser. So the name and the look of this sink may be slightly intimidating to put a hole in it. The granite composite makes it sound like it's a piece of stone, but really what it is is some crushed up stone held together with plastic resin, maybe epoxy resin. So what I'm gonna use, actually you can drill through it. Um, ideally you'd use a hole saw, that's the correct size. Use that, use the knockout in the bottom as your pilot and put your hole saw in there and just make a nice smooth hole through it. But like me and most of you, I don't have a big assortment of hole saws to go draw from. Of course we could go buy a specific one. But I wanna get this done tonight and I don't wanna run to the store. So, what we're gonna use is a 532nd regular drill bit in our drill. And this fits in that knockout channel perfectly. And so I'm gonna just drill a series of holes around that knockout to weaken it further. Uh, and then we can tap it out and then smooth it up with a stone or carbide bit. Let's get to it. All right, you can see we were able to put a series of holes around that knockout very easily. Now this did dull my drill bit a little bit, obviously, um, because of the crushed stone in there and the abrasives, but it was able to drill those pretty easily. You just have to sacrifice a drill bit to do it. Now that we have the knockout weakened further, I'm just gonna use a small punch and a hammer and What we are left with is a bit of a jagged hole, but you can see the diameter that we need just below our jagged hole um, at the edge of the punch out there. So what I'm going to use is a carbide bit. This is just a cylindrical bit. Put in the drill and just clean up the edge of this, uh, match that other pilot diameter, and we'll be ready to throw our soap dispenser in. We're all cleaned up and the good news with our soap dispenser here is it's a pretty generous difference between our threaded diameter and the, the seal diameter. So it'll fit easily in this hole. We really didn't even need to clean it up, but we don't want to leave it totally snaggle tooth. Um, but yeah, fits in there perfect. So we just have to go on the underside, secure this nut, uh, fill the bottle up with soap and we should be good to go. So don't forget to attach your tube before you slide this thing on, but there's a rubber washer on the side of the dispenser and then another rubber washer. So we put this through, put this rubber washer on the bottom and then tighten up our nuts. Pretty simple installation there.
we can fill up our bottle. Well, I guess this is uh, pretty much exactly 16 ounces. All right, the camera fell, but that didn't go too bad. That won't be too painful going forward. All right, we're all done. Let's see. We've got soap. And the bottle's gone. I was wrong. This is way better. I got to crawl in there and uh, replace the soap occasionally. But I don't have to look at that bottle here anymore. So I'm happy. If you found any value in this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, hitting the like button on the video. There'll be more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching. Adios.